Some U.S. Postal Service carriers nationwide are seeing major pay cuts, losing about $15,000 a year after a fight between the Postal Service and unions. Tonight, KVU's Ford Sanders looked into how this is affecting these postal workers. Through rain, snow, sleet, or hail, USPS carrier Shalon Williams says she takes great pride in making sure her customers on her route get what they need. People get medications, they get um, monitors or something or anything they need. You know, they get dog foods for their pets and um, we have to make sure it gets there on time. However, she says she, along with thousands of drivers nationwide, are facing reduced hours and pay cuts in the tens of thousands. So guaranteed salary is showing about $56,834. What were you making before that, roughly? Close to 70000 So you're looking at essentially about a 14, 12, anywhere between twelve dollars and $15,000 pay cut that just came to you yes. like that. Yes, sir. USPS tells KVU in a statement in part, the current modifications to the compensation system were the result of a previous interest arbitration proceeding and mandated by an interest arbitrator. Williams tells me she's going from 46 hours over a five-day week to 37 hours over six days, meaning less hours and fewer days off. I had um, Thursday off. So my Thursdays, I can make that choice of if I want to stay home or do I want to go in and help and get the overtime. But with me going to this, now it's like, what do I do? Williams says another problem she and other carriers face is tied to a new scanning system that's supposed to better track rural routes. But she says it's not completely accurate. That scanner follows you everywhere. She says this automated system claims she only hits 71% of her route when she knows she covers it from start to finish. She says her route takes about nine hours to complete, but with her new schedule spread over the six days, she's expected to get this done now in about six hours each day. With me dropping to a 37, I would have to kind of reroute and re, you know recuperate on, okay, well, how am I going to make this work every day? Saying this is going to affect many drivers and their families. The prices are going up from food to houses and cars. What am I going to do? You know, am I going to stay? and work these 34, 37 hours, and then every day have to force myself to do a, you know, overtime. The Rural Mail Carriers Union says it's still working with USPS on this system, but Williams hopes something can be done for her and her fellow carriers. In Cedar Park, I'm Ford Sanders.